Procedure to solve fault analysis using Thevenin's theorem. First step, choose the base value and determine the pre-fault conditions reactance diagram. So if the single line diagram is not given, we need to draw the single line diagram from the given data and we, we need to obtain the reactance diagram at the end. That will be considered as a pre-fault condition reactance diagram. Now calculate pre-fault voltage using pre-fault current that is load current. Using the load current, we need to obtain the pre-fault voltage. And third step, determine the Thevenin's impedance of the system at the fault point. Based on the fault location, we need to calculate the Thevenin impedance that will be considered as EZTH. So now draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit at the fault point. So in the first case, it is a EZ Thevenin, Thevenin impedance and here we will be having a Thevenin voltage source and F is a fault point. If the fault short circuit fault occurs here, the current IF flows through this point okay? and you will be having a fault impedance EZF also along with that. This is a complete Thevenin equivalent circuit or the fault point. So we need to calculate the fault current. The per unit value of fault current IF will be equal to V Thevenin divided by EZ Thevenin plus the fault impedance EZF. And actual value of fault current will be equal to per unit value of fault current into the base current. So base current expression will be MVAB into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into KVB. So where MVAB and KVB are the base values. And short circuit capacity or fault level can be estimated using this formula V Thevenin square divided by Z Thevenin in per unit MVA. Fifth step, the fault currents in other parts of the network are determined from the knowledge of change in current due to fault and pre-fault currents. So actual fault current at the fault location is determined using the previous fourth step. But other parts of the circuit we need to consider what are all the changes occurred in other parts of other parts we need to obtain using the change in current due to fault and pre-fault current. The fault current in any part of the system is given by sum of pre-fault current and change in current due to fault. So first we need to obtain the pre-fault current then how much change occurred in that pre-fault current just add this to you will be getting the fault current in any part of the system. Sixth step this change in uh, fault current in any part of the system can be estimated by connecting the Thevenin source, Thevenin voltage source with the reverse polarity at the fault point. So if you do so, you can uh, able to calculate the change in current due to fault and uh, replace all the sources by zero value sources except the V Thevenin value, all the sources are zero value sources and we need to locate this Thevenin source in a reverse polarity manner at the fault point you can able to obtain the change in current due to fault. So this is the basic uh, six step procedure for fault analysis using Thevenin's theorem.